Hey guys, so welcome back, it's Oliver again and I guess today's video is about me sharing with you guys on how I'm gonna style the items that I recently bought um, from my trips and whatnot. so it's actually quite a bit of stuff that I haven't really shared with you guys fully and I thought I'll take the opportunity today to like share with you guys so let's see what I got Okay, so over here is all the new stuff. Okay, not exactly new because I've got it for quite like maybe a while already. Not too sure. So I just placed my cap that I got as well. So yeah, these are the stuff that I got. Um, probably within one or two months of this from this video, I guess since I came back, I haven't really fully got to share with you guys everything. So there's like a bag here from Lueve. And some stuff maybe you have seen it in my previous video, but I'm just going to show you how I'm going to wear them all together. Okay, so I'm just going to sit you guys down. Let's hope you stay. Okay, so, yep, I've decided to, instead of doing like a whole unboxing or like, unre like revealing everything that I got one by one, I'm just going to just show you guys some key pieces that I got and then how I'm just going to style them. Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis because I think most of these pieces are extremely wearable and yeah maybe I'll just start a little bit more different so that you can like imagine it if it is not so normal but anyway the first item that I want to share is from Lueve as you can see from the anagram here so actually it's just a pair of I think it's denim jeans um, let me take it off the hanger first before I share with you guys so that you can properly take a look at it so to me um, recently I've been getting a lot of pants or like jeans or bottoms because um, I feel that it really complements or like finishes your look and you can just pair it with any simple top but if you have a nice cool jean or a pant it would really you know just up your look I guess so yep the pant as you can tell so the cool story about this is that I got it from Milan and it was actually on sale <laughs> so I was very very happy yep and this what is very special about this is that when you, when you wear it it actually has a, has a very very baggy cut and it's like a workwear jean so you can see details of these patches here with all these rivets and each one says Lueve as well which is a really nice detail to have yep and on the back it has a leather patch that is worded with Lueve too and I like that it is in black and it's very subtle so it's not really screaming like Lueve and stuff like that because I want to get the pa I wear pants because they have a nice fit um, even if it's branded and doesn't fit well I wouldn't wear it at all so quite lucky I managed to like find this on sale and yep the details is really immaculate from the stitching and everything as you can tell so I'm just gonna wear this with probably something simple on the top I mean you could just wear it with like a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt for day to day but yep I'm just gonna see what I can find in my wardrobe later I'll probably bring you guys in with me and we will see what I can style this with the next item is actually also from Lueve I actually got it together from got them together from Milan and it's in this big dust bag as you can tell and yep it's a very big bag because I, I'm actually really into bigger bags these days rather than the small itty bitsy ones that I used to get sometimes because usually for guys when we go out we don't really carry much to be honest so actually I don't need a big bag but these days because after going to school and uni I appreciate a bigger bag because I can stuff my laptop, my iPad, um, water bottle, umbrella <laughs> You know, because Singapore, we, we get a lot of rain. It's always good and smart to have an umbrella. So, yeah, I actually got this bag, which is a Lueve puzzle bag in a hobo style. So, it's a little bit out of shape now because it's not fully stuffed. But you can kind of imagine it um, 
when it is fully fully stuffed it will look quite cute it's like a very school messenger bag looking so it has thick straps on the side as you can tell that kind of cuts in to be a bit thinner at the top and I like that it is a much thicker strap so that you know when you carry a lot of stuff because I told you I carry my laptop even though it's a MacBook Air and stuff like that it still can get a little bit heavy so yeah a thicker strap will definitely help so actually this wasn't the one that I wanted to get um, it's another model I'll probably insert like a picture here or somewhere but when I was there I thought this is a lot more classic and because the puzzle is really really um, quintessential to Loewe especially with the craftsmanship of creating the back where each piece of leather here is actually hand sewn together and the artisans have to take the time to piece them like part by part so I thought it makes more sense to get something like this and yep there's a zipper at the back in case you're wondering so you can also keep like things like your wallet and stuff like that that you want to have easy access um, it's lined with like a microfiber inside yeah so I mean if you are interested in this bag you can always check it out on their website and yep like all other puzzle bags they have four feet below yep. so I'm just going to style this bag with literally anything so I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to wear it I think at the end of the video together with every other stuff that I'm going to share now Alright, so the next two items I actually got it when I was in Bangkok, Thailand. So the first is actually a band tee, which I thought was quite cute. Okay, it's a bit crumpled now, but don't mind the mess. <laughs> uh, it says The Rock. So what band is it? I don't know. Okay, maybe you can tell me in the comment section below. Um, but I just thought it's quite cute that it's a bit bluish with black and like I said, I like t-shirts with colors like these um, So they kind of hold their shape better And yep, it's actually not very big size, so it's more of a fitted t-shirt So when I wear it later, you guys can see how it looks And the next item is a pair of jeans that I've been wanting for a really really long time And when I was in Europe, I wanted to get it, but the thing is, it's sold out completely and it's actually it makes sense to buy there because it's a lot cheaper it would have been like a thousand dollars there but here i'm paying about one and a half times more or actually even more than one and a half times almost two uh, times the price there but yeah i really cannot find it anywhere else and i decided to just get it it's very painful because the price is very expensive but i love the fit of this pant so it's actually from Prada as you can see and what's really cool about it is that it has the iconic enamel logo here at the back and like where your butt sits so it's not super flashy it's like if you see it you see it if not you don't and yep it has the V shape as well which kind of shapes your back and yep it has a really really baggy cut but later when I wear it you will get an idea of why I like it because it's a baggy jean but it still gives you shape and it's not too baggy if it makes sense because there are really baggy jeans that really makes your back look not just flat but like I don't know worse than flat <laughs> so yeah I think cut of jeans is very, very important and if it's a cheaper brand to have a really really nice cut for me I will get it as well yeah so this is just very quickly a nice pair of Prada jeans that I think you can wear forever. The only downside to this is that they didn't make this with zippers. So every time I want to pee, I have to literally unbutton, okay, at least the top two or three, and then you have to put it back, which is a bit of a hassle. <laughs> yep. If not, it's a nice jean. So I'm just gonna break things up a little and just share with you guys something I got from Paris as well, which I didn't get to share. And it's from Goyard. I just kind of started using it already. It's actually a wallet. If I'm not wrong, it's called the Marigny wallet or something like that. So I actually decided to get it in this... I think it looks black on camera, but it actually is of this very deep maroon... Eh, not maroon, sorry. Navy colour. If you can tell... Yeah, it's a really, really rich blue. Yeah, I think this is kind of like the true colour. It's really, really rich. 
and yep, it has just one compartment slot here. We can put some cards and a coin pouch area. So inside has it has this yellow color, likewise here. Okay, not here. And yep, there's a small little compartment here for you to put some notes and cards if you have extra. So it's just a really nice compact wallet or you can take it as a coin pouch as well, you can put some notes and stuff. So it's really really nice and handy to carry it with you everywhere you go and because it's in canvas or like coated canvas, I don't need to worry about it uh, being a little bit wet or getting a little bit mishandled <laughs> because I'm not exactly the most cautious person so I don't really like smooth leather with the exception. Okay, so I'm just going to cover the last few items that I've got and yep, this is one which is the Balenciaga cap. So the, I really love Balenciaga caps because they fit really nicely, um, especially the previous one that I had and because I have a very small face so when I wear caps it kind of just covers my entire face or like my head so it, everything just like disappears. Oh, it's not very proportionate to the rest of my body so I don't really like to wear caps as often but when I do I like to wear a cap that shapes me or shapes my head well so yeah this is from the world food program so when you buy it, like a portion of your proceeds will be used to donate to the uh, world food program <laughs> yeah so it just says saving lives changing lives so I thought it's just quite nice to get a cap at the same time for a good cause and the next item is actually in this huge off-white um what do you call this like a dust bag or something for clothes for jacket yeah so it's actually a really nice piece of jacket actually my brother have to get it as well um, but i mean we always share our wardrobe pieces so i'm just gonna steal it for the styling today yep so <laughs> It's basically this kind of wooly material um, baseball jacket that is not too long. It's a little bit cropped with um, these two orange patches that says O and W of white. And let me see the back. Yeah, the back is clean. So I'm just gonna pop this on to style it with what I have already shared with you guys just now and we'll see how it looks. So last but not least, it's just two more pants and I'm just gonna start changing in a bit. So it's actually, the first item is actually from Bangkok as well at the Chatu Chat market. So it, it actually is a patchwork pair of jeans again. So as you can tell how obsessed I am with denim and jeans now lately. So it's patchwork, so it has the word Levi at the back, Levi Strauss. Yep. So I guess they use different different Levi denim jeans of different shades and you know cut them into pieces and then form into one whole pant which I appreciate the craftsmanship again. And another pair is ragged. It's literally called ragged from Urban Outfitters in London. Yep, so it's a little bit greenish grey and it's a utilitarian pants because it has a lot of pockets as you can tell and the hem as you can tell how big the hem is it's literally bigger than my face yeah okay that's uh, literally bigger than my face <laughs> so it's a really super baggy cut pen but it's so cool so when i put it on in a bit you will understand why i got it and why my brother got this as well in black and our friend Jasper also got it. <laughs> so they literally bought three. Yep. So let's start changing. So I'm just gonna bring you guys through my wardrobe and then we're just gonna pick some pieces to style it with what I've shown you guys just now. Um, especially because I bought a lot of um, pants and jeans. So I'm just gonna look for some tops that I think would style nicely with the look and we shall see how it goes. Hopefully I have enough stuff because I usually have difficulty finding clothes to wear, so yep. Okay, so my wardrobe's in a bit of a mess as you can tell and it's very squished. 
So right now I'm actually just looking for a nice, probably a coloured top would go well with jeans as well. So I think this coarse, kind of like a parakeet green would look good with like denim jeans. So I guess we can pick that. And let's see what else do we have. On the other side of the wardrobe. So here's like much bigger, but here's like some of my brother's stuff as well. Yep. So let's take a look. It's really a mess, I can tell you first. So this is a printed piece from Supreme, if I'm not wrong. Yep, here's a really nice vibrant print that looks like a tattoo, if you know what I mean. Hello, so I have finished filming um, three looks for you guys and yep, it's very very tiring because it's so hot and as you guys know, Singapore is very very humid so yep, it's, it took me like a few hours already <laughs> so pardon me if I don't film as often because I guess this is the reason why because I feel very tired after that but Anyways, I'm just gonna edit this video real soon, hopefully. So by the time you guys catch this, it won't be too long away. And yeah, if not, thank you so much for, um, you know, supporting me throughout. And it really, really um, means a lot to me. And makes me want to continue to create some kind of content for you guys. And it's nice if you guys are like suggesting to me, um, what kind of content to do as well because I don't know what to do sometimes. <laughs> yep. Anyway, here's Ash. If you guys have missed him. Yeah. Okay, so the room is in a really really big mess right now and I have to clear it and head for dinner soon and probably do some schoolwork. And as you can see I'm just really sweaty and stuff because I've just um yeah, literally just finish changing everything. And <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm distracted, this is why. Yeah, if you guys are like cat lovers, he really bends, blends in with the floor. <laughs> so sometimes we like don't see him. So I like, accidentally step on him, but um, not, the, not too often anymore. Okay, if not, um, I guess that's me signing off and I catch you guys in my next video real soon hopefully and yeah just tell me what you guys are interested to watch and then I'll see you guys very very soon again bye bye stay safe bye, -bye.